Hi everybody, welcome to my guitar channel here. And uh, today we're going to talk about sound and expression. Crunch guitar. Um, what is crunch guitar? Crunch guitar is, the, is a medium setting between clean and distortion. And um, the point is... Um, how do we create this typical this typical sound which we all love and we think how is how is this created and I'm playing the same chord but why it's not sounding the way it should then you buy a new amp and then you think oh shit it's still it's bit maybe it's louder now have more effects but still I don't have it what what is going on and here I'm playing over a little uh, one watt tube preamp <laughs> without any effects. Actually, <laughs> a black star, um, a black star, um, little head, a mini, a mini head, and um, that one is really cool because it gives this typical tube amp sound. And I'm gonna talk about how we're gonna really play or play dynamic with the normal sound setting, no effects, just let it reverb and that's it. Gain level is not a maximum, otherwise we have full distortion. But now comes the trick. How do we get this dynamic sound which we all love? The trick is in the attack. There are uh, different ways. Um, we can uh, work with the volume. So if you have an own or less pole, it's pretty easy because um, in this case you can set the volume level on the on the this pickup here maximum and on this one maybe on five. But if you don't have it, you also can work with the volume knob uh, or with the volume pedal. So uh, we, when we take an A5 chord as an example, see and, and attack it very soft. And in this case, I hold the pick very loose that it nearly drops out of my hand. See? Then I attack harder. Attack even harder. And now I put the volume level up. Now you see the whole band wide of expression with, uh, with one sound setting, but it needs to be, really needs to be a tube amp because it only works with this, with a tube amp or a very good tube amp simulation. This is really a trick. Low volume setting, or if you work with a less pole, you can also switch between pickups, it is very soft, and then harder attack. And that's the really trick. And work with, um, in this case, we have A5 and D5. It's also a matter of how you attack the strings. When you attack the strings, very dynamic and precise, you get this really biting uh, distortion sound. Of course, the, the guitar has to be tuned very precise, otherwise uh, the, the sound gets swarmy and you think, what's going on? Because your guitar is not tuned very well. So, very soft, very hard, very dynamic. You really can go through the strings with the pick. In this case, you really need to work on your damping techniques, um, like on the A5. Now, with the thumb, I damp the low E string, and the high E string is damped out of automatically with the index finger. On the D5, um, same, you damp the low E string with the thumb and the high E string is damped with the middle finger and then you really, if you have it soft, like this, or hard. See, same, I didn't change anything, not even the volume. If I take the volume down, very soft, a little bit more, and really hard. That's the whole thing actually, uh, playing dynamically. And we can practice this on a little tune I once wrote. Actually, it's only bass and drums. It's a uh, kind of a blues in A. We have, um, and they're gonna show it for you. And then we play it through. And there you really can practice this sound setting. <laughs> 
Yeah, let's check it out. Now checking out the chords. For A we have an A5 and A minor 7 chords. So we just switch up this power chord in the fifth. Room. D we have this D5. Very important you play the middle four strings. Then back to E, uh, A5. And then a little exception, uh, it goes to F7 up here. 8, 7, 8. F7. A, E7. So these are the chords which are used. Now let's play the track. Dynamically. Very soft, don't attack too hard, just attack the string very soft. Make it smooth, a little bit creepy. F7. And at the end, Seven sharp nine. Now we give more bite. Put the volume on maximum. See how we could develop a lot of tension only with dynamics. Dynamics is very important. Start soft, you can even start softer. Because you nearly think it's a clean sound setting. And then when you want a maximum bite, then try to keep, keep it going up till you have the maximum. And seek out the maximum and the minimum which you can achieve. Like this is the minimum or with low volume setting and this is maximum and then try to get get this this going on continuous and that's the whole thing the cool thing on this track here is we can also add a little bit soloing because we have a lot of space in between and i'm just going to show you a few ideas that you don't uh, need to play only ring guitar on this tr great track Oops, and let's check it out.
and so on. Uh, when you want to play solo in between, it's the same thing again. Very dry sound setting. And it really makes a difference if you attack the string soft. When you hold the pick very loose or hard. And with this very open space, uh, the expression and the sound settings and the sound design you create on the guitar is um, even more important than in other occasions. It's really, you really need full control of your tone. And once again, the tone is created here on the fretboard and not in the amp. The amp is just amplifying what you're doing here. <laughs> of course, if your amp sounds like rubbish, you can play as well as you want. Um, you will never have the maximum tone, but you already can sound pretty well, even if it, with a shitty amp. Uh, one guitar teacher of mine, he gave me one lesson, which uh, was a very important one. He said, if you want to have a good tone, practice on the most shitty amp you can find and try to create a very nice tone, even with that one. And don't buy equipment like an idiot, because, um, as I said, the tone is created on the fretboard. <laughs> Yeah, actually it's all about dynamics in music, about breathing, letting, giving space to any kind of playing. Um, and I really want to encourage you, don't play too many notes. All my students play too many notes. Even I often play too many notes. And I think it's a lifelong um, search or it's like an uh, enlightening process on the guitar that you once realize, oh wow, I just need to play that one note. <laughs> at the exact the, the spot which is needed. But then when you play that one note, be sure that you really have, have the way you like it. And this, this is about this. Start to work with the guitar, get these dynamics down, and really work on sound settings. And that's the main thing about the lesson today. Work with the dynamics, listen to yourself, um, check out um, the extremes, very soft level and very hard level, low distortion, high distortion, and the way you can create it. Yo, that was say that is it, and uh, have some fun practicing and playing guitar and whatever. Me and Dr. Pink are signing off now. Bye.